that are here of recording as well. So I'm going to be showing you the brand new Hero Dungeons that are now open. Um, we're going to go through that this morning. We're going to go over the notes real quick, just because I think this is a really big maintenance patch that they just completed. Uh, there are, again, people that have said Monster Super League is dead. They are so far from the truth. Um, all right, so hitting this up. Nez Season Pass 6 announced. So after the maintenance, which is basically right now, um, Week Run Rewards, Legendary Secret Egg, and 100 Astro Gems, 500,000 gold, a Gleam Egg times one. If you pay extra, you'll get a bonus 300 Astro Gems, a million gold of the variant Wood Pinocchio, Pinolo, three like dark eggs and a gleam ticket for wire fire wire fire water wood all right but the big news was the maintenance so we're going to flip to the maintenance log now so they've got a new astromon it looks like um charizard almost in a way right um this is going to be a, it's really cool this is going to be an, an award for we'll take a look at the unit for completing and defeating world bosses so that's awesome um we have a world boss actually i believe starting up today uh new dragon or uh, uh world boss is going on today so at least if i remember that date right today being the 26th so you can get the dark by making a light plus a dark three star polaris to get a five star dark so you can get a light and a dark unit it'll cost you three million but that's okay um, in addition to the current ranking system, Chaos Shards, Masters, and Alvitain, and Emperados, Light Soul Stones as part of the ranking rewards. Uh, generally, the five star units, you need 100 shards to make a five star. But that's cool that you can get a five star just by doing this. New skill books Pinocchio is going to be getting skill books. Emperado, which is the new unit, the Ark, the Beacon, the Ghost, the Brawn, and the Killbot. So a bunch of two stars got added in. New special season mode. This will be interesting to see how this works. So a brand new special season will be upon us. With a unique set of rules. Only natural born three star. Below and below will be eligible for receiving special buffs in the battles. This will be very interesting to see how that plays out. I do have a bunch of three star mods that are level 60. Um, and two star mods, some of them also. So it's going to be really interesting to see how that plays. So they're going to go special season, three star rules. So this can be next week. Normal season and then SP rules normal season. Champions League. They've expanded the XP award for people that are in the top 100. So that's cool. Um, gives more reason to actually try to get in the top 100 and stay there. New Dungeons Hero. This is the really cool part. They finally made it so that you can get five star Astromon Soul Stones just by doing dungeons. First one's going to be Persephone. Um, which is going to be pretty cool. So you'll be able to acquire first stage of Hero Dungeons features Persephone Water. The number of times you can enter is shared across all Hero Dungeons. You may enter the dungeon up to three times per day. Up to 100 Soul Stones for each Astromon can be obtained in Hero Dungeons. So I think what that's saying is you can only get one five-star Astromon of each type going through the Hero Dungeon. Once you've filled it, you I don't think you'll be able to continue doing it to get Astromon Shards. We'll have to see how that plays out. So they're redoing the Pinolo. So there's the fake Pinocchio and the real Pinocchio. Um, the fake ones aren't really the real ones that you want. So it's going to be interesting. At least that's how they had it the first time they went through this. The Pinocchio is a nice unit, even though they did sort of nerf it a little bit. I say that, but they have updated Pinocchio. Um, Easter Fest will be coming. Pinola Soul Stones at the Shady Shop. Something's quite off about this Pinocchio, yeah, because he's not. <laughs> one of them is incredibly weak. The other one's the one you actually want. Um, the event period will be April 5th, so next month. Just keep scrolling through this. Dark and light Pinocchio. They're going to have the elusive thief, Flora, which is finally. So I was hoping Flora would make her come back, and here she is. So you get Flora, three star and four star light dark soul stones for her. You'll be getting clues. The next super stone evolution will be um, Miho, uh, Horan. You'll be April 18th through 20th and then April 20th through 28th. They are hinting 
Who will be the chosen Asheron for the next Super Festival? So interesting. Who's that going to be? They have added some more colors for um, Horan's outfits, which is cool. Um, they do have, if you have mucho cash to help support the game, gem packs for sale. Holy Gleam variant pack for sale. Chloe is back. I've really wanted to get one of these Chloe's. They're really expensive. Um, don't know if I'm going to splurge on one, especially with the crisis hitting us. Um, but it would be really cool to have, I believe it's the dark one with the courageous strike. And of course, Coco's having to call me right now. Hi, Coco. Sure. Okay. No problem. Bye. Love you. Bye. So, sorry about that. I knew my wife was going to do something to have to ask me something. Just the way <laughs> being married is sometimes. Um, but Miho packages are available. So you got Light Miho, Dark Miho. Balance updates. So, Pinocchio Lights is changing from a tank to an attacker. They're changing him to, or to have a two-turn shock at 60% with a blind predator to increase attack power by 40%. This is going to be interesting because Pinocchio's skill books are coming out, which means that two-turn shock is going to get increased from 60% to something. Will it be 70% or 80%? We'll have to look. Um, Pinocchio Dark is going to be going to Unflinching Strike and attack uh, down for one turn. Uh, this is one of the really cool things that they've just changed. Energy. Um, daily energy used to be 50 energy once a day. Now it's 100 energy by watching the ad. In-game ads every 30 minutes up to three times a day. It means you can get 300 energy by watching the ads every half hour for three times a day. That's, that's pretty freaking awesome. Um, the energy package, which you should never get the energy pile. But the energy package now gives you... 180 energy for 30 Astro Gems. I mean, they just made it so that I can play the game all day long if I have the time and ability to do so for minimal amounts of Astro Gems, which is awesome. They said they were going to do something to work on this, so they have all of those farmers that were cheating the system to build Astro Gems up like crazy and then complained when they weren't able to do that because they capped how many Astro Gems you could earn that way. Um, I don't know. Maybe they'll come back. Maybe they won't. Who knows? But I never did it, and so I'm, I'm really happy to see these changes. Uh, required Heroic Essence to summon Heroic Golden Egg was changed from 400 to 300. That's actually a really big change there. That's going to be in Clan, uh, clan Summons. Alright, so, because I only have a limited amount of time, let's get into the game itself. Logitech audio, game load, continue. All right, so we're going to click. So, by the way, I am playing on Nox today. I'm hoping it doesn't crap out on me sometimes. Sometimes these emulators can have issues. And I'm hoping Nox does not. This is a freshly patched. You know what's sad is I'm not going to have enough to get a Leo for the bonus on this because I don't have a Leo that was ready. I needed to get my water one set up. I got my water one up to level 60, but I don't have enough water shards. Um, so I just don't think I'll be able to get the bonus 600 Astro Gems out of the fests. Here, grab whatever's always buy what no matter what it is always buy whatever that hundred gold cost thing is because you get the quest reward for buying a certain number and you always get the money back and you get stuff that you can do whatever with later all right so we are going to jump over to the hero fests or the hero dungeons the special hero story dungeon you actually want to turn my volume up so maybe I can hear this there we go. Now I can hear the game stuff. So they added the new hero dungeon. It's over here. Persephone Soul Stones. You're, it actually gives you a tracker for how many that you can get. The number of times you can enter is shared across all hero dungeons. 
So we'll have to do this first one to start with. So we click on it and and then we wait. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I get three tries. Um, I've not done a hero dungeon before. I'm not sure what's in a hero dungeon. So I am not going to bring the team as you see it currently here for this hero dungeon because I'm not sure that's the best idea. I would want to bring a water-based unit. We will bring my own hit point healer. She actually is a healer. Um, I've been working on leveling up. I'm, you know, I am tempted just to bring this team right here. I've got healing. I've got SP builds. We'll give this a try. I mean, this is the first level of the dungeon. I'm assuming it's not going to be incredibly difficult. So we'll just see how this one plays out like this. It is possible I could get defeated if these guys are way tougher than I think they are. I just don't know. And we will find out, though. Oh, they're little weenie termites. I should have brought a coat. Oh, because Water Persephone lives in the middle of a blizzard. It's been a while since it's almost like out of a story. Now that you mention it, there's a sad story in my world that involves snow. It's about winter. The goddess of the land was overcome with sorrow, so the land's frozen plants and trees stopped growing. I can't remember why she was saying something like her daughter married the god of the underworld and left every winter. Feels like you're leaving out a lot of details. <laughs> the daughter's name was Persephone. Actually, actually, that's true. <laughs> you called? Eek. Behind us? Oh, that's Persephone, the Cerulean Sorcerer. She's extremely powerful. Persephone and the story, you know, is probably a similar but still different character. Well, you just did all the explaining for me. You must be the guide, which means that the first person master from another world. Shining Pendant is the Pendant of Order. It's hard not to miss, even from far away. How'd you, what brings you here? I was out for a walk when I heard you kids call my name, so I came to see what you're all about, I was bored. Do you have anything to do right now? If not, follow me and I'll give you a gift. It's going to be good. That sounds really suspicious. What do you think, Deedlet? My character's Deedlet, by the way. We don't know if we don't go. If things get hairy, jump on my back and I'll run. <laughs> What's with that look? You don't trust me? <laughs> I love that my girl's spicy. <laughs> All right, well, I might have over prepped my team because I was worried this was going to be scary. I probably did not need to worry about them making this scary because they were making it for everybody to be able to get in and enjoy. And I'm pretty sure my team's just going to crush it. Sort of like this. As I watch my SP bar goes, Zip! how much damage did you do? All of the damage. Crunch. Oh, look at that. A variant Persephone with two side Persephones. She attacked my healer. That wasn't nice of her to do that. What is this skill called? It won't even let me see what the skill is. I'm trying to see what that skill is. Maybe it's just her base attack. Well, it wasn't as scary as I thought. Huff, huff. Puff, what was that? Why did you suddenly attack? That was the surprise? I want to see how weak you were, seeing how you said you could carry her on your back and run with that scraggly body of yours. Really? Wow, says, says the Persephone with the giant assets up top to my poor my poor girl striking a pose. I was also curious about what kind of people your otherworldly masters are. You're more normal than I expected. So where is the gift you said you'd give us, you know, for following you? Oh, that? I'm already here. Huh? Hey? The gift is me. What? That sounds suspicious, like a line from some book. What books are you reading? I see your guide likes reading strange books. For her age, I suppose that's not out of the ordinary. What do you mean? How do you know how old I am? She didn't deny the likes reading strange books part. At any rate, you do, do you not want me, the Cerulean Sorceress? You can't get a powerful astronaut for, like me from just anywhere. I like the staff, the way they did that design right there sticking out. Hmm. Having you around would definitely bolster any party. Okay, Persephone, starting today, I'll be your... But I have absolutely no confidence in you. Master... What? What did she call you, Deedlet? 
consider joining you if you can pass my test. Each level I'll fight at a different intensity. See if you can make it to the end. You didn't mention that there were conditions. How many times do we have to defeat you? Until I'm satisfied. A hundred minimum. Because <laughs> you got to get a hundred shards. All right. Well, there's one shard right there. We'll take it. Does that open up the next stage? Let's see. Aha, it did open up the next stage. You can only do three fights total across the day, across the dungeons. So does completing, so do I have to do them all each day, one in each, or can I just then starting tomorrow only do the level three one? Oh, and hey, Astro Panda. Uh, and hello, Glomet, Tosgusta, 61 B-Day. Sorry, I wasn't reading. Graphic elements and arts for your stream. Feel free to follow the link to my profile. Image, Monster League is so random, so funny. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Sorry, I did not see the chats. I was actually watching my screen, trying to pay attention, and, and reading the stuff out loud. But howdy, folks. Howdy, folks. I'm doing all right. I've got to go to my virtual work in a 14 minutes. So I'm trying to go through these first. Uh, I could really go for a warm piece of meringue pie on a cold snowy day like this. But I, it would have to be store-bought. Somewhere would happen last time you baked, Sarah. Hmm. Just joking. You know that, right? Gotten a lot better at cooking and baking. Good enough at least that I don't make burnt lumps of charcoal anymore. Saying it won't be a burnt lump of charcoal still doesn't guarantee that it'll even resemble food, though. That's mean. Founder, there is Persephone. Indeed, there she is. Nice to see you. Glad you made it. Of course I did. I'm going to be your master, after all. I assumed you would give up quickly, but you surprised me. You're more tenacious than I thought of otherworldly one. That tenacity reminds me of someone. There was a human who came to the underworld to beg that his wife be spared. I remember he was holding a lyre. I think I've heard that story. That's part of the Persephone story. His name was Orpheus, right? Oh. So they actually are throwing Greek mythology into the game which is actually pretty interesting. I think I read about him too in a book written by an otherworldly master. He said it was a well-known myth in his world. Now I'm curious about whether it's the same story that I know. Tell me your version. I won't attack while I listen. She's lying. <laughs> I won't attack while I listen. So have you guys already done the um, Hero Dungeons today? You're trying to figure out what outfit to buy? Uh, you mean one of the new um, Miho outfits? The Volpan Horan outfits? Oh, uh, look at that. The side unit survived the initial attack this time. Which means there's going to be a lot of healing going on that team. Well, never mind. My guys just chopped them down, so scratch that. I thought with the side units surviving, the, they would actually get some heals off. So it is the same story I know. You said you wouldn't attack while you were listening. That's right, you lied. I only listen to things worth listening to. The story you told me is one is one I already know very well. Seeing that I know how the story ends, there's no reason for me to listen to it. Do you understand now? can't believe you. The story is sad, though. Why in the world did Orpheus look back? He had already convinced Hayes, the god of the underworld, and his wife, Persephone, only to have it end so tragically. Sometimes, even when you know something, it's hard to translate that into the right action. It's like when you're making meringue pie, Sarah, and you know you have to take it out after five minutes. And yet, somehow, your pies have always become black in chunks of coal. <laughs> Find it strange as well. Sarah's appalling cooking skills? I'm not that bad. He was so committed that he went all the way to the underworld. Why did he turn back right at the threshold? Maybe he was just impatient. He was looking ahead, holding someone's hand, pulling them forward, but then looked back. Normally, that would mean one of two things. Either the person behind him suddenly stopped, or the hand he was holding pulled on his. Yeah, that would definitely make me look back too. I wonder what happened or why they stopped. Perhaps that Eurydice hesitated and stopped at the threshold leading to the world of the living. What? Now, now we're all confused. <laughs> you know, I actually, I, I talked about this at the top. Um, that there are a lot of people that's, or I say there are a lot, 
there were a couple other YouTubers that used to do MSL broadcasts and they all whined and complained when MSL put a cap on per, it was either per week or per month for how many uh, astrogems that you could make doing sliming, uh, which for those that don't know, sliming is capturing astromons, low level slimes, and then evolving them out for uh, astrogem points. But they were using bots to do it, and so they were basically breaking, how to put it best, they were making much more in the way of astrogems than anybody else who was not using a bot could ever hope to make, unless they literally sat at their game all day long, 24 hours a day. And so 433, the makers of the game, put a stop to that. And so these YouTubers that had been doing it um, complained that it wasn't fair that they were stopped from doing it and then complained and said that then they did it together because they both the same day put out a, a video saying that MSL was dead. Uh, and I don't think it is because they keep putting out new content for the game, which I think is awesome. Anyway, uh, so I don't understand why would she stop in front of the world of the living? Yeah, especially knowing that if you turned around, she'd be separated forever from the husband she loved. You're right, that she likely wouldn't if she were with the husband she loved, that is. Hmm? Orpheus loved Eurydice, and passionately at that, there's no doubt. But she, did she feel the same about him? She must have liked him, right? See how you phrase it in the form of a question? You never know what a couple's relationship is like, and no one could know what she was thinking. She likely took his hand and walked forward to go along with what was happening. Maybe it even felt like a dream to her. She walked thoughtlessly until they reached the threshold to the world of the living, and then suddenly she saw the light seeping into the cave. That instant, she realized that as soon as they left, she would go back to living the exact same life as before. That if she left that place, she would go back to living a tedious life where she pretended to be in love, and that would last several more decades. That is some wild conjecture, isn't it? Eurydice is said to have died from getting bit by a snake. Sometimes I wonder, was it really an accident? Are you sure you haven't read too many weird books like Sarah over here? Why are you dragging me into this? Perhaps I have. It was so long ago, I don't remember it too well. I might be reinterpreting the events through my own colored lens. Wait a sec, where's Hades, anyway? Persephone, is there some turbulence between you two as of late? Interesting question, what do you think? I wonder if Hades will be the next dungeon to do captures for. Um, based on that little story quip. Nope, both of my guys did not get full uh, SP that turn. I'll have it for this turn now. Oh, hey, Dee Dee. Hello. Dee Dee, it's been so long since you said hi to the YouTube community. You want to say hi to her? YouTube to Twitch? Oh, never mind. She ran away. <laughs> She's like, nope, I don't want to be a part of your Twitch guest. I do like that they put the damage counter so you can see what your astromon's damages are. And she's back again. Back again? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Say hello to everybody, Vivi. Say, say, oh man, you're not comfortable, cat. Not comfortable, cat. It's okay. It's okay. Say hello to everybody. Okay, okay, we just go down. We go down so you don't scratch us. So. Okay, you made it successfully down without scratching, which was important. But you did leave cat here, it's all over my black shirt because you're a white cat. Wow, so this final team is a lot more difficult to take out. Good thing I brought a healer because my guys actually needed the health. Wow, they still killed her. All right, so mental note, the last round is slightly more difficult and that team could have had problems with it. Have you heard of the honeymoon phase of a relationship? Do you know what happens when it ends? Huh? The end of the honeymoon phase, that's when many relationships also ends. Dopamine levels drop and you don't quite look at each other the way you used to. They, you see, eternal love is only something that exists in fiction. How many happily ever afters can there really be? Still, fiction becomes too much like reality, it's just sad. But we are living in reality, even relationships that seem like they would last forever can end. Perhaps we're simply people living in a world made by foul creators. Oh, that's deep, Persephone. MSL is going so deep into the real world with this. Man, I got white cat hairs all over my black shirt. Phoebe, you, you whited me. Now I have a gray shirt on. Did you have a fight with Hades? 
I mean, our conversation seems like it's almost over. Is Hayes really not going to suddenly appear? Hayes isn't as popular as I am, so he's not allowed to enjoy the pleasure of appearing after me. All right, well, then Hayes is not showing up after she does. That feels like there's some sort of deeper meaning behind it. So, in other words, Hayes will not be the next um, heroic dungeon. At any rate, I need something exciting in my life, Dila. I'll let you be my master, but you're going to have to continue to pass my test tenaciously. And if I do, I can really be your master one day. But, of course, even if it should take a long time. Sounds exciting. I'll be waiting for you, Persephone. All right, so beat the dungeon. This is was the third one. Still only got one shard, so it didn't it doesn't matter how many what level dungeon you beat, you only get a shard out of it. Interesting. So if you can't beat a high enough version, but they have, you can attack any of the versions. That's weird. So why would you bother attacking higher level dungeon if you're not going to get more shards out of it? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, you know what? I bet they're going to have multiple available potentially at the same time, and you have to choose which ones you go after. That's going to be interesting. Anyway, I'm really glad they put the hero dungeon piece in. I'm going to do my gold dungeon run. Um, I am going to have to go in just a minute because I do have to get... Uh, I say prep for work, but I have to go to work. And my work is at home right now because... We're telecommuting from my office currently due to the coronavirus. Um, I might try doing a little mini cast tomorrow. We'll see. But good to see you guys for at least a little bit. Astro Pandas, hope you do well. Um, Lomat took 61 Bay. I hope that you are able to do your graphic elements. Um, if you are able to do some for the stream, that would be awesome. Let me see if I remember. If I click on you, I can add you as a friend. I can send you a whisper. So I'm going to go. Folks, you guys all take care. Stay safe. Have fun. Enjoy the game. Astro, I'll catch you later.